Hi, we're going to be looking at steam powered cycles, more specifically, simple Rankine cycles. The problem statement is a continuation of the previous problem where we were told that the exit pressure of the boiler was 4 megapascals, the maximal temperature was 500 degrees C, and the exit temperature of the condenser was 45 degrees C. The only addition here is that we're told that the isentropic efficiency of the turbine is 90%, and the isentropic efficiency of the pump is 85%. What this looks like on our TS diagram is something like this. I'm just going to label my axes. So we have our low pressure line and our high pressure line. We have our point 1 going up isentropically to point 2. Heat addition, point 3, isentropic to point 4 and back to point one. This was our ideal case with 100% isentropic efficiency. The change here is that if we have inefficiencies in the pump, we go to this point two prime. If we have inefficiencies in the turbine, we go to this point four prime. Let's look at how these inefficiencies affect the work of the turbine and the work of the pump. Firstly, we're gonna look at the work of the pump. We can say that the efficiency of the pump is equal to the work of the pump theoretically divided by the work of the pump in actuality with the isentropic inefficiency. And this would be equal to H2 theoretically minus H1 over H2 actual minus H1. Or we can rewrite the work of the pump actually with the inefficiency is equal to the work of the pump theoretically divided by the inefficiency of the pump, and this is equal to, we had solved for it previously, 4.03 kilojoules per kilogram divided by 0 0.85, which gives us a work of the pump equal to 4.74 kilojoules per kilogram. Let's look at the work of the turbine. So we can write that the efficiency of the turbine is equal to the work of the turbine actually, considering the inefficiency, divided by the work of the turbine theoretically, which is going to be equal to H3 actual minus H4 divided by H3 theoretical minus H4. Or we can rewrite the work of the turbine actually is equal to the efficiency of the turbine times the work of the turbine theoretically. This is equal to 0 0.9 times the work of the turbine, which we had solved for previously, 1,204.3 kilojoules per kilogram. And this gives us a work of the turbine equal to 1,083.87 kilojoules per kilogram. We're now ready to solve for our new efficiency. We can write the efficiency or the thermal efficiency as equal to the work of the turbine actual minus the work of the pump actual divided by Q in. And from the equations that we worked out earlier, we can write this as the efficiency of the turbine times the work of the turbine theoretically minus the work of the pump theoretically divided by the efficiency of the pump divided by Q in. This gives us an efficiency thermal efficiency equal to 1,083.87 minus 4.74 divided by 3,252.8, which gives us an efficiency equal to 0 0.332 or 33.2 percent. And this makes sense because it's smaller than the previous efficiency, which we had solved for of 36.9%. And we can see that we're getting less work out of our turbine. We're putting more work into our pump for the same amount of heat addition. It makes sense that the efficiency drops in this case.